Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, what was I doing last time? I think I was supposed to go talk to Pow Pow, uh, the mechanic, for some reason. Oh, yeah, speak to Sid at the garage. I don't remember exactly why. It's been a long day. But, uh, we're gonna go do that. Oh, yeah, he had a message for me or something. Oh, right, my dad just died. Or Noctis's dad just died. Gotta keep in mind, this is not some, like, arbitrary character. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Cor. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. All right. Still need to speak to Sid in the garage. Sid, what happened? Where are you? Um, anything in here? Oh, I already checked this area once. I don't know if items change as the game goes on. Or, like, if I can find different items in the same places or not. But it doesn't seem like I need to look too hard for it. Sid, I wait for you in the tombs. They're to the northwest of here. That's a short ways past the outpost. Find that first. What can I do you for? Good yeah, no, thank you. you. Um, you got a quest for me, don't you? Anderson toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. Give the metal scrap to Sid. Uh, I'm assuming I have enough of that. What can I do you for? No, not you. Be seeing ya. Hand over the metal scrap to upgrade the drain lance. Yeah, I don't see why not. Unequip the weapon you wish to upgrade. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. You got me what I need. I'll take it from here. Here she is. Try her out and let me know what you think. Train Lance 2. Back in a new piece, are you? If you want it done up right, you bring me the right parts. A master mechanic. Sid can modify we mechanized weapons to unleash their full potential. If Noctis can obtain a rusted bit, Sid will upgrade the engine blade. I believe I have a rusted bit. I'm going to have to unequip it, though, aren't I? Yep. Yeah. Weapons ain't designed with upgradability in mind. At least not their insides. You gotta work with what's outside. All right, so re-equipping the drain lance and removing the engine blade. Proceed with thanks. Y'all just leave the rest to me. You know, butt ton of AXP for that. Take it for a spin. It'll be a riot. Fixing an upgrade? Can do. 
Um, drain lines too, but he... Sid will upgrade the drain lines too, but he might take a while. Pass the time by undertaking quests and hunts. Fix it upgrade? Can do. Should. Uh. Give the glass gemstone to Sid? How y'all doing? Stand up st you st I'm assuming that means I don't have those items. Alright, so, moving on. Let me go and re-equip the, uh, engine blade for now. And we will go do the main quest right now. I'll do some, um, hunting on my own after that. I think if it's nighttime outside, you can only manually drive. I might be wrong about that. How far away is this? Mile 08, yeah. Huh. Alright, so we'll drive there. Um, last time I was playing, I decided to go driving at night, and, um... What's his face? The cook guy. He, um, Ignis, I believe. He's like, no, no, don't, don't do that. That's a bad idea. But I was like, nah, screw you, Ignis. So I got in the car and drove anyway and just ran into, like, all these level 30 enemies and stuff and, you know, died. Um, a horrible death. Not really. I didn't die, but, uh, I, I just ran away from everything. <laughs> it, it was pretty bad. So I need to go up here, which means I'm just going to follow this main road. Can I mark a point on the... Maybe I can't. Not sure. You gonna make me pull over, aren't you? Knocked. You could use a break. I'm happy to take over. Um, I'm gonna switch this time and see what happens. I think, I guess Noctis just drives, and I've still gotta sit oh, here and watch everybody. She's all yours. Ah, happy to oblige. Let's see what happens. What do you think it's like? Inside. I don't know. That was weird. Alright, guess we'll auto drive to the our destination. Huh? Is this which way to go? Wait, why would I want to go to any of those? Yeah, that's where I want to go, right? Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see for ourselves in time. Indeed. And the question of when. I can't believe the crystal's gone. The bastards took it all. And we'll take it back. This is far from over. Pretty sweet. He's driving for me. It's, this just lets me kind of look around and stuff. I don't know if there's anything else I can really do while driving except fiddle with the music, but... Um, I did notice too, if you look at the top of the screen, it's pretty neat. There's, um, a little tracker to tell how far you've gone, and it's based on, um, <laughs> how far away you are from your destination, obviously. It's not like surprising information or anything, but I thought that was pretty neat. Like right now, I'm more than halfway there. Um, also, I, I don't know why they're... I guess it's for the sake of realism, but there's like no purpose for any of the other cars that are driving around. Or at least I haven't found one. Like, you can't interact with them. They just stop and drive by. It's, it's whatever. It would be kind of weird if you were the only car on the road, but... Um, I have no idea why <laughs> there, there are other cars we don't care about. Are we listening to the FF12 soundtrack? Sounds like it. Yeah, that's FF12. Which I like, by the way. Alright, we are at the Prairie Outpost. And we shall figure out what we are doing here. Gonna kind of just run around real quick, see if there's anything important. Well, I guess um, when I get to a new town, first thing I should do is uh, go to the local, the locals because they tell you where stuff is. Save myself some time. So, assuming there is something like that here, of course, there might not be. I don't know. Metal scrap. Uh, 
Who are you? Oh, you're a shop owner. Having a nice morning. Um, okay. Till next time. Yep, it was nice meeting you. It was nice briefly interacting with you, I suppose. Let's see what this says. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't want to run in there quite yet. Across the land, Scylla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altitia to pay their respects. Many offering prayers at a vigil held before the wedding dress Lady Luna Freya was to wear. You've issued an advisory to all... In the wake of serial attacks on its bases, the Imperial Army has released information on the culprits. Those responsible are... Just listening to the soundtrack. Okay, um, let's go and pick up this quest first, and then we'll go to the main oh, marker over there. Boys. Say, if you can take a little time out, would you mind helping me track down some more tags? What? How'd this guy get here? D uh, Dale, right? No, he had. What's his name? He has some basic name. Boys, still hunting the good hunt. I'll do that off screen. It's not the most exciting thing, unless it's like a really cool enemy. I might record it, but last time I was just. Some generic enemies. Um, what's this here? Oryx Culinary Chronicle no, One Entry Three: New Friends. Just as I think I'm getting the hang, bleh, just as I think I'm getting the hang of hunting, they send me up here to some mountain in Clang in, uh, to find some lost fella from Westalum, and I get half lost myself. No ordinary mountain, neither. This here is a fire spewing volcano. Climbed up and crawled through every inch of the rock you held to finally find what I came for. A little fellow curled up next to a big pool of liquid hot magma. Said he's been up here for two whole days. Doesn't look like he'll be making it down the mountain under his own power. Alright. Uh. Okay, somehow that gave Ignis a new recipe. Awesome. Uh, not sure how that works out, but... Whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. Take a look at our wares. You know, one thing I haven't actually done is um really compare the items that they sell to the items I already have. Like these these just look I'm just glancing, but it looks like the same items that the last shop owner had and I don't think they're any better than what I'm already holding, so we're gonna stay off that for a while. Let's go ahead and uh Okay. Transceivers available for loan. See the HQ representative for details. Uh, guess I have to talk to you? Who do I talk to? There is a talk option there. Who do I talk to? There we go. Alright, gonna listen up. Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the royal tomb. The marshal awaits. Okay, mm so the royal tomb, not too far away. Guess I can just walk that. Go talk to this chick. Heard some folks calling him Marshal. Interesting nickname. I guess it's because he's strong. Or because he's Marshal of the Crown's Guard. Oh, well that explains everything. His fancy city clothes, his no-nonsense way of fighting. Alright, that's just exposition, I guess. Oh, what is this all about? E. Catrich Ruin. City. Then Hammerhead? Then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Core the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as... Keep your distance or die. Vicious varmints and dangerous dangers. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Well, huh? 
Let the wise make their own luck. You think it's a coincidence he's made it out of all those battles alive? Up the hill we go. Safety first, everybody! Wait. I have an idea. You strike from behind. From there, we'll follow. All right. Got it. Great idea. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Wonder what drew him to the world, too. Mortal curiosity. Oh, I suppose. That's where you swing that thing! All right, I think I kind of messed up that optional objective there. <laughs> oh well. Also, note to self. Actually, that seemed like it worked pretty well on that bear, or on that bird, oh, on that bear. The uh, the ice magic there seems like it worked pretty well. Okay, so should be able to warp to the birds from here, right? Yeah, that seems effective, just, um, knock him out of the sky, so, do the point warp and then warp to them, and it looks like that knocks them down. Then they're easy from there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, piece of cake. Oh, there's still one alive. Got him. Onward. Yep. We're here. A tomb fit for royalty. Let's go in and find the marshal. Like a dungeon of some sort, I'm assuming. Anything curious behind said dungeon? No. Can't jump on top. All right, inside we go. I'm assuming this is a dungeon of sorts. Marshal. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> He always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice.
The royal arms are mystical weapons embodying the power of the rulers of old. Usable only by Noctis, these weapons are incredibly powerful but cost HP to wield. Try not to get carried away and have curatives such as potions on hand to bring Noctis out of danger. Note that royal arms do not induce link strikes. So it looks like a weapon I can equip in one of my slots, but if I have it currently as my active weapon, it's going to drain my HP. Sword of the Wise, let's go check it out. So, um, what kind of weapon is it? Uh, it's a special type here. So, just compared to that, this, this is 40. That weapon is 194. Wow. I guess we'll try it out. I mean, right? Guess I can make some magic while I'm at it, too. Since I have a billion fire. Discard fire one, elemental energy, and items. So weird, some of these things you have to use the joystick for and some of them you can't. Was that all to do in here? There's nothing like special to do in this room. It's a little crazy. I can't equip a weapon in here, so guess That's I'll talk. The only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you for the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So, just how many of these powers are out there? There are 13 known royal arms, each enshrined in a royal tomb, though we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. <laughs> Where's the one nearby you mentioned? Kikatrick Trench. We know there to be a crypt, deep inside the tunnels. All right. Uh, yeah, it's about just as far from here as. I got this. You just sit back and watch how it's done. I bet I could show you a thing or two. Well then, by all means. Wanna bash some heads in? You know it. I'm in. Ooh, head bashing. <laughs> Be honest, I forget what a link strike is, so <laughs> if you see me not performing a link strike, it's because I don't know what that is. I just got praised by the immortal. Don't take that as a lead to slack off. You're only as good as your last battle. Uh, yes, sir. I'll keep at it, sir. Oh, yeah, he is with me. And he's got a butt ton of HP. Also, those enemies were level 2, like, <laughs> I think I'm level 9 or 10 now, are, are we gonna face some challenging enemies soon? This way, guys. Don't you see the red marker up there? Long years ago, we waged a fierce battle here against the Empire. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. I'm going all out! Oh, yep. Sure, want to talk. How do we get through all that? Come yeah. on, we'll sneak up from behind. Choices. <laughs> he said, "Sneak up from behind." I'm just all in there right now. I guess I should remember that. Uh. That weapon does use my HP, so I can't just like recklessly use it. Up all right. 
If I remember correctly, the warp strikes. Oh, snap. <laughs> I was able to upgrade. Oh, sweet. Don't die on me. I'm trying. Sweet. Is that hurting my partners too? I think it was. Or maybe not. Um, yeah, well, I was saying just a second ago, the point warps, uh, I think when you do it, if you're hanging, you your HP goes up quicker or something like that. Oh, there's a big guy over here. Did you see him? This guy. Whoa, level 32. Yeah, we might not want to mess with that one. It's up to you. Nothing's gonna happen as long as I Gladio! Maybe we can knock it over like what the last thing we fought. Uh <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. Gladio needs a hand. Understood. Oh god. Oh god, I'm dying. Why did we fight that thing? Retreat, gentlemen, retreat. Yeah, that guy's level 32. He's kind of, uh, kind of tearing us apart. <laughs> we, we should leave that guy alone for a little while. Check that thing out. Pyloxer. Alright, mineral pass over here. Rock and roll. Oh, geez, that was bad. The Magitek armor. Dangerous? This particular model poses a mild to moderate threat. The short version? Somewhat dangerous. Marshall, you'd have to be pretty badass to take that down. Bio blaster? I think you're up to it. Is that an accessory? Do. Doesn't sound like it. Let's see if I can find that item. Bio blaster. Uh items. Didn't look like it was a weapon. Yeah, it's a oh it is a weapon. Uh, machinery that unleashes a powerful shockwave against foes and dispenses a poisonous mist. It's a machinery? I'm not sure what that means, but those guys can equip it. Maybe it's just like a, a gun or something like that. Is that what they call the guns? I, I'm not actually sure. Uh, not sure why I'm clicking those either. Oh yeah, it's a little thing for machinery here. Let's give that to this guy. So, poison mist. Sounds good, right? Sounds like a bio blaster, alright. Wait, what saw me? Oh, these things. See how we just ran away? Here's where we go our separate ways. Take this key, it unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. <sighs> Let's head in. I will. Is that guy gonna betray me? Seems suspicious. Here we go. Keep it real, huh? Huh? Look! There's a door. What is this place? It appears to have been a shelter. People lived here? Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? Wonder if anyone's still living here. Huh. What's this? A cable? 
Wonder where it leads. Well, we can follow it and see. Can I see the? Oh, sweet. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, do I want to follow the cable? This looks like the type of thing I really want to explore thoroughly. Don't like the look of that ceiling. Yeah, long overdue for some TLC. Sure, hope it holds up. One in doubt, run all the way to the end, right? <laughs> what was that? If it's all the same to you guys, I'd rather not get buried alive. Yeah, let us be quick. Is that something I should worry about? Don't, uh, don't jump in front of the door. I hate that noise. What? Too atmospheric for you? Uh. All right. Guess I go back, or I could go through that door. I can feel eyes on us. The second we turn our backs, bam! Quit being a wuss. Rusted bit. Oh god, there's like a billion doors. Did you see that? Something ran past. What was it? Don't know. Uh, this place is actually just really big. We're not gonna run. Um. Hello. Uh, uh, locked. Total shocker. Hey, if something's worth locking up, it's worth seeking out. Uh, giving up the chase? I personally don't mind either way. Give it up then. Wait, is that? Oh, never mind. So this is the other side of the locked door. No, guess not. A dead end. I could have sworn this was it. Found it for Well, yeah. here we are. Goblins. Oh, snap. So this seems like a place where you want to use magic, right? Oh, snap. They just took me out. <laughs> hey, where'd you learn that one, Noct? Someone come heal me. I'm in danger, that's bad, right? Prince of Not good to throw daggers in the dark. Alright, we gotta gotta watch our back. It's another one of those coins. Still don't know what I can do with them. Go straight ahead. Uh, a couple more minutes and then I'll call it an episode. Kind of want to see what's uh, going on here. Laser sensor. Hmm. That's hard to. Oh no, that's a different lock door. Nice. Another one. Yeah! Ah! Can't stop now. What can I say? Do a little bit more blocking.
No. All right, the lights are on. So I'm going to pick up from here, I think. Um, continue with this. I'll go ahead and keep exploring it in the next episode or next video. And uh, should be right here when we come back. So thanks for watching, guys. Sit tight. Be right back.